Hello, welcome to today's video. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to cut a circle into equal arcs of equal length in Inkscape. Go ahead and open up Inkscape. I am going to go up here to Object, Fill and Stroke or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl F to have the Fill and Stroke palette here. We are going to need this later. Select the Ellipse tool or press the F5 shortcut on your keyboard to access it. Then click on the artboard and while holding down the control key to constrain the object, draw a perfect circle by pulling the mouse down to the left or right below. Release your mouse and the control key when done. Hit the spacebar to select the object. Alternatively, you could have used the Select and Transform tool or the keyboard shortcut F1. Now go to the Fill and Stroke dialog, select the Fill tab and choose No Paint. Select the Stroke tab and change the color to whichever you want. I am going to take Blue. Select the stroke style and increase the thickness to say 20 to 25 millimeters. Next, we want to draw a line somewhere from what we think to be the center of the circle and outward a little longer than the radius of the circle. To do this, select the Bezier pen, click somewhere at the center of the circle, hold the control key down and draw a straight line outwards longer than the radius and double click to end the line. You could now go to the fill and stroke menu and make the line width to be a size of your choice. I'm going to give it the width size of 1.26 millimeters and this is going to determine the cut length later on. Beginning from Inkscape version 0.92, it is possible to control the position of some of the shapes by their geometric center. This makes it easier to align objects in a precise way. We are going to use this to align the line to the center of the circle to make sure it is longer than the radius. To do this, select the Node tool, click on the circle, hold in on the X marking the geometric center and move it around to snap the tip of the line. This way, we have just made sure that the line begins from the middle of the circle and that we have drawn a line longer than the radius. I am going to pull the line to this white background so we see the next step a little bit better. Click on the line once, click on it again, not in quick succession from the first click. A plus sign will appear in the middle of the line. Drag the plus to the end of the line. If possible, zoom in to make sure the plus sign is right at the end of the line. Another way to ease this process is to allow for snapping. It is usually easier doing this when the line is vertical or horizontal and not when it is at an angle. In the next step, we want to clone this line so that the program produces more lines for us at equal angles apart. Now select the line and click Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. In the tab Symmetry on the right here, choose P one simple translation and click reset then on select use saved size and position of the tile if this is selected in the tab shift check exclude tile per row in the tab rotation enter 360 divided by the number of sectors you wish into the field angle per row if you need 4 sectors, take 360 divided by 4 and Inkscape will do the division for you. If you need 5 sectors, take 360 divided by 5. In general, if you need n sectors, just take 360 divided by n where n is a number. Here at the bottom of the dialog, choose rows, comma, columns and enter the number of sectors you choose before under rows and one into the column field. Then click Create. 
This procedure will clone the line the number of times you entered. Select these clones and unlink them by going to Edit, Clone, Unlink Clone or using the keyboard shortcut Shift Alt D. Select the unlinked clones and go to Path, Combine to Combine or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl K. Next, we need to convert these clones to path. Equally, we need to convert the circle stroke to path in order to be able to cut it. Select the combined clones and go to path, stroke to path. Then also select the circle and go to path, stroke to path. Next, we want to align the two objects. Once we have converted both strokes to path, it is no longer easy aligning using the geometric center like above. To align, select both objects and go to Object, Align and Distribute. Then here on the right side, center on the vertical axis and center on the horizontal axis. Now select both objects and go to Path. Division or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus forward slash. Now if you look at the points the lines passed, you're going to see tiny white lines. Click on the object between the lines and delete. To make you see well what has happened, I am going to click on one of such objects or select it and pull it to the side so that you see where the cut was. And it is worth noting here that the size of the line we choose to cut is going to determine how thick this cut is going to be. So I will select this and show you and delete it and select the next one and delete and this third one and delete and finally this fourth one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and if you did so, do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.